Thanks, Vala. That looks fab. Now, Anjum, you're cooking your starter of yep. your three-part meal. Dinner <laughs> meal. Thing so I'm going to cook the fresh paneer and make yep. that into bruschetta. Okay. So to do that, I've got my bread, some coriander, some mint, spring onions, some chilies tomatoes and yogurt. Yeah. Um, okay. It's quite easy to do actually. I'm going to first get some bread on so the grill. For, for me and um, a few people at home, just yeah. tell us what paneer is. So paneer is Indian cheese that you make fresh. Okay. And in India it's made with buffalo milk, so it's mm -hmm. like having mozzarella, but without the stringy quality. It's got a really lovely crumbly texture. And is it quite a traditional uh, thing to do? Yeah, I mean where you have cows and buffaloes, mm -hmm. so in the north and the south you don't get them, then they all make paneer at home oh, really? because it's a cheap protein. Okay, so if you could chop uh, some chilies for me, some slice some spring okay. onions, some a little bit of mint and lots of coriander. Fine. Okay. How much? How much chili? Uh, one. Okay. So I've got my milk that's been boiling away here. Seeds or no seeds? Seeds. Seeds. Those are not too spicy. Okay. So I've added some yogurt inside, and the yogurt is just to curdle the milk. And when you curdle the milk, you get the, the curd and the whey which separate, mm -hmm. and that will give us our. How long will that take? It should be more or less instantaneous. And okay. you can see, look, you can see the milk is splitting. I yeah? Can, yeah. So once the water goes a bit green and really pale, then I just drain it out. Okay. okay. Yeah, so it looks, that's done. Uh, so, I mean, that's pretty quick. It's I mean, a bit startling, that. If I can take that bowl to drain it in. You come across this before, Jim? Oh, yeah, no. No, no, no I right. What about you, Jim? Yeah, I've heard of it, yeah. 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 Good, I'm quite yeah. glad of that. I thought it was on my own there. <laughs> Showing, showing my ignorance. It's a really great cheese actually because it is delicious and because it's quite simple in flavour it goes with lots of, lots of different flavours so you can put it with anything and it just absorbs the wonderful flavours. So you tie it into a ball, all the water will drip out when you leave it and then you weight it under something Okay. and then what you end up with, I take this away. Is this, is this quite a healthy dish or It is, or it's not? really healthy. No, it's really healthy because right. this cheese is actually quite light. And um, I want you to try some because you haven't tried it before. No. And you, would, you, would you sort of traditionally have it as a... Yeah, try some. Because it's starter. really fresh. No, because you can cook it in the main course. Nice. Nice. It's, really, it's like farmer's lovely. cheese. Kind of zesty, huh? It's because the lemon juice that um, splits It's not thing. similar to a, a ricotta. It's very similar to a ricotta. And mm. it depends how long you set it. If you set it for longer under the weight, it'll be harder. Right. I don't need to set it very long because I'm going to crumble it that's anyway. Abs that's delicious. Isn't actually. it? Surprisingly delicious. So I wanted to keep this dish really simple because I want everyone to try the flavour of the paneer rather than get it really complicated with lots of spices and sure. herbs. So you're kind of um, Italian in it up a bit, aren't well, you? No, we, have, we have stuff here. Yeah, well, I've called it bruschetta because I think it's quite nice in the summer to do mm. that and you can do it in advance and leave it and not really worry about it. Mm. But we do something quite similar in India anyway. Okay, so I put a bit of everything in it. I think we'll serve sure. up. So maybe brush it with some oil. A little bit of this over the top? Uh, oh, no. Oh, yeah, no, maybe okay. a bit. Okay, so that's that. Season goes really... I mean, these are all classic combinations mm. of cheese, you know, herbs, onions, tomatoes. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm just going to add some olive oil to give it some moistness. Anjum, can you actually cook with the cheese? You can. You just have to set it more than this. This is very Try simply that. set, so it's quite crumbly. Yeah. The more you set it, the more water will leak out, and it'll become a, like a block. And then you cut it in squares, mm. and then you have it in your dishes, and you put it in a curry, or we cook it with mm, spinach, it's really right. or yeah. with peas. I'm really surprised, actually. It's really, really good. How, sorry, how long did you wait that for? It doesn't mean more than about 40 minutes. So you can make it, leave it, and it can oh, last in the fridge for days. So, really? Yeah, I'm going to put it with my hands, because I can feel what I'm doing. And again, you can put more or less of whatever. You can put basil on it, you can mm. put whatever you want. And actually, the reason why coriander is such a great herb is because actually it's very cooling on the system. So here you have it, my fresh paneer bruschetta. Fabulous. To make Anjum's paneer, you will need milk, yogurt and lemon juice from your fridge. For the bruschetta, you will need some good quality bread from your baker, spring onions, Indian finger green chilies, coriander, mint and cherry tomatoes from your greengrocer. Mm. Perfect for summer, isn't it? Very good. Good. That's mm. clean flavours, huh? Eh? Cheese works really well with, with the bread and, and, and the spring onion and the tomatoes and the coriander. It's delicious. Mm. Thank you. Mm, really Jump. Mm. Like you're saying, it's a great vehicle for other flavours. Mm. It's actually so good. I'm going to do that next week. Are you? Yes. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. I'm, um, I'm really pleased with that. That green chilli in there, huh? It's nice. It's not too overpowering. No, and um, chilli goes really well with cheese. No, it's fab. Really, really good. Thank, Thank you. you.
really enjoyed the paneer with the uh, coriander and the spring onion. It's excellent. Recommend it to everybody. Uh, the paneer was fantastic. A uh, brilliant combination of flavours. The cheese was beautiful. Um, the mint really came out with the tomato. It was the best dish I've had of the day. <laughs>